Auf der Form Next hat Elego einen neuen Drucker vorgestellt. Nicht nur einen, sondern zwei. Und da habe ich jetzt entsprechend jemanden von Elego im Gespräch, der uns ein bisschen mehr über das Gerät erzählen wird. Das ganze Interview wird auf Englisch stattfinden. Ich wünsche euch trotzdem viel Spaß. And welcome. You presented some new printers here on the Form Next. Mm -hmm. Would you like to tell us something new about this machine? Yeah. Thank you. Thank you to uh, visit our booth. Uh, I'd like to show three products, new one that we are showing. Okay. The first one, let's start one by one. Yes, of course. <laughs> the first one is the Centauri Carbon. Maybe mm -hmm. a lot of our followers have heard of this product. Yeah. It's our first uh, CoXY printer. Yes. It's uh, die cast uh, aluminum with yes. very strong structure that make uh, that makes sure that your print is stable mm -hmm. and it's brand new and we are putting a lot of effort into this. Okay. I already saw some things that I like about the printer. First yeah. you have a USB port in front, which yeah. is good. Yeah. Then you have the filament spool holder on the side, yeah. which I like also because most of the manufacturers put it on the back. Yeah. And this is not glass, right? This is not, not glass, this is not... Is this Uncle Jesse proof? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, could be. <laughs> this is the benchmark right yeah, now, yeah. right? Yeah, this is a benchmark. It's our first time to make the coax printer. We are. Yeah. So I think it's going to be a, a boom, explosion. Okay. <laughs> okay, cool. Um, when will you release this machine? Somewhere um, in the future, but... Uh, actually, we plan... Uh, Originally, we, we plan to launch it like uh, the third quarter uh, this year. Yeah. Uh, and you could find many Coex Y printers now on the market. Mm -hmm. But you know, uh, we want to make sure that we provide affordable and reliable printers to the, the, the to our users. So mm -hmm. we are working on some final details of this printer, and we estimate we will launch it uh, Q1. Quarter one uh, okay. next year. So you want to make it perfect for release, right? Yeah, definitely. Um, what operating system uh, system are you running on this machine? Uh, you mean what? Uh, is it, is it how is it different? Is it Clipper or is it something it's, it's proprietary? A, it's private. It's private, private. not Clippers. It's okay. not open sourced uh, firmware or something else. Okay, great. Uh, what kind of materials can I print on this? Quite a lot. Uh, if uh, sorry, it's printing. I cannot show you, but yeah. if you take out the, the, the plate, you yeah. can see that it's different from others. Uh, normally, the manufacturers use two PEI bolts, PEI plates on both sides, mm -hmm. but we are using one POA specific bolt okay. plate, which means uh, when you because uh, a lot of people, mo in most cases, people like uh, printing PLA. So when you print PLA, uh, let's say in summer, you don't need to put the, the temperature of the hot bed up to 60. Mm -hmm. So 30 degrees would be quite enough. So it's uh, a okay. little bit you know, environmental friendly. Okay. Uh, and you can uh, you can also uh, print like ABS, TPU, and uh, other carbon materials uh, on the other side of this uh, plate. It's a direct extruder, right? Yeah, yeah, sure. Okay. And what temperature can the tool, the, the hot end reach? Uh, what's the max temperature? Uh, it's uh, 310. 310, yeah, okay. If I'm That's... not mistaken. Oh, yeah. Mm, let me check. <laughs> yeah, right. Ah, oh, sorry. Maximum 320. Uh, and 20. Oh, okay. <laughs> Sorry, so even, man, ten, even 10 higher. Okay, yeah. great. And the print bed temperature is? Ah, it's not standing there. <laughs> yeah. But what, what is what is uh, special about mm -hmm. uh, this printer, when yes. you, uh, especially when you ask about you know what is the maximum temperature it could reach? We are using a uh, hot and steel nozzle for this. Okay, uh, so okay. You, it, it's compatible with a lot of materials, mm. which brings you ex excellent experience. Does it come with a 0 0.4 or 0 0.6 nozzle? Uh, you you mentioned uh, carbon fiber materials and so that it would be better to print with a 0 0.6 nozzle? Uh, the default right now is uh, 0 0.4, but mm -hmm. we could have different options. Uh, we will keep you notice on that. Okay, cool. Okay, because okay. now it's not, you know, the the, the mass production um, 
machine that you see here. Yeah. yeah. Okay, it's a pre-release version. Yeah. Right. Uh, okay. But what we are showing here yeah. is the fi is final. So this looks like a Saturn IV Ultra, uh, but yes. it's a new version, right? Yeah, it's <laughs> it's still called a Saturn IV Ultra, but we up it's an upgrade of the previous uh, products. And uh, as you know, we launched a Saturn IV Ultra 12K this April. And now, yeah. since we have a lot of uh, feedback from the community, from the, uh, the Form Next last, uh, last time, yeah. and we think a lot of people would uh, like the 16K. So we have two upgrades. One is the resolution, yeah. which gives you better precision and reduce the error of prints. And okay. the second is that if you take a look at this, uh, Resin vat. Yes. It's circled. It is with the. Uh, it is with the, the the heating feature inside. Oh. Yeah. So you yeah, got. You cannot see it, but it's inside. Okay. Yeah, you got the contacts here. May I show it? Yeah. Yeah, sure. You got some contacts here for the heating. Yeah. That's great. That was one really big issue uh, for some people out there. Yeah. Yeah, especially in winter or some uh, somewhere cold. Uh, you can print at a temperature uh, plus uh, five degrees above. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, five degrees above. This is the default in, uh, temperature, but we could explore more options. Okay, but this means you have to put the uh, uh, the resin vat in a, cer a certain direction into the printer, right? Because you only have the contacts right here. Uh, yes, yes. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Great. So, and now we are here at your computer and you have released a new slicer, you told me. Yeah, this is a, a kind of experience center that we are showing to, yes. to our users. Yes. And uh, the, the, the name of the slicer is uh, Allegus Sightlight, yeah. uh, well, you know, which is brand new and uh, it's, uh, it's for the L LCD slicer. Okay. Yeah. So this is only for resin printing, right? Yeah, for resin printing. What kind of features do you have in comparison to the slicer that, that are out there in the market uh, right now? Uh, I think, uh, uh, firstly, I would like to say that this is very easy to use a uh, slicer because if you take a look at this workflow, you yes. just need six steps to finish okay. this uh, slicing. The first you choose the device, which in, in most cases add good printers, and then you choose the uh, material application, mm -hmm. and then you edit the model. And mm -hmm. after that, uh, it comes to the slicing part, uh, uh, sorry, the supporting part. Mm -hmm. and, but we are using a, a, a unique technology. And the name of this technology is EVO, uh, EVO support system, uh, which means evolution. Okay. So uh, what, what is different is that the system could detect your model automatically and give you a good recommendation so that you can print ideal prints. Okay. Yeah. And also we have... Uh, so it's yes. like a magic button that you push and your model is oriented and supported in the right direction. Yeah, yeah, okay. exactly. Nice. Yeah. Also we can have this... Uh, advanced uh, model repair tools if you uh, when you are adding the the model you do use this function give you much much better experience and also okay. comprehensive material laboratory because mm -hmm. we put all our all the settings of our resin into that so you just click and oh so click. it's click and, and click and print uh, it's yeah it's much easier and, okay. and another thing is that you know it's uh, it's very it's it, it, it's good for beginners and professionals. But mm -hmm. for example, for beginners, we have a lot of instructions when you first, yeah. if it's your first time to use this printer, with pictures, with videos, with mm -hmm. descriptions. Uh, yeah, welcome to experience it. <laughs> Thank you very much. That sounds great, and I hope you liked it. Thank you very much. Thank you. For have your a time. nice expo. Thank you. You Bye. too. Bye.